Hello, fourth graders. Uh, today we are doing the first part of Unit 4, Lesson 10. This will be a two-parter. Um, so let's start off with this first part here. It says to find factor pairs. A factor pair is a number, or for a number, is two whole numbers whose product is that number. For example, 2 and 5 is a factor pair for 10. Uh, draw arrays to show the factor pairs for 12 on the grid below the area or the, sorry the array for 1 and 12 is shown so here you can see you have 1 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 times 12 gets you an area of 12 now what are other things we can multiply together to get 12 well there's two one, two. What do you multiply by two to get 12? Six, right? So one, two, three, four, six. What else can you multiply since it's two by six? One and 12. What about three times? Four, right? One, two, three, four. Three times four. Okay, keep going up uh, for our first factor. If we go four, what do we multiply four by? Three. Uh, four by three. Or we could have. Nothing by five, but we could do six. One, two, three, four, six by two. By two, which is really just the two by six on the side. And we could also do 12 times one. So the factor pairs that we have for the number 12 is one and 12 comma, two and six, two and six, and three and four, right? Uh, then you could also have the reverse of all of these pairs if you wanted to list those as well. Okay, now let's come up with some other uh, factor pairs we can have. So, 32, one and 32. What about two? Two times 16 is 32. Is there a three? And no, three won't multiply by a whole number to get 32. What about a four? What's four times eight? Isn't that 32? Is there a five? Mm. Is there a six? Six times, no, that's just going to be seven, no, eight, and then we're back at eight again. So one and 32, two and 16, four and eight, and then of course, eight and four, 16 and two, and 32 and one. So let's keep going. What about two? If I multiply two by 22, that should get me 44. Uh, what about three? Mm -mm, nothing I think can think of will multiply by three to get 44. Four by 11, right? Five, no, six, no, seven, no, that's it, eight, nine, ten. Not until we hit 11 again. All right, 100. Let's go ahead. Okay, we got one in a hundred. Two and fifty. Is there a three? No. Four? Twenty-five. Five? Twenty? Six? No. Seven? No. Eight? Yeah. Eight would be like thirteen and a half, or twelve and a half, right? So that's not a whole number. 9, no, and 10 times 10. And then, of course, uh, 11, no, 12, no, 
13, mm -mm, 14, so 15, nope, that's it. Okay. Now let's do these ones here. Uh, 29. Well, we got 1 and 29. 2, no, it's not an even number. 3, no, because 3 times the, or 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 10 is 30, so no 3. No 4. No 5. No 6. No 7. No 8. And I'm going through, for each of these, I'm going through like, what's my closest one for seven? Well, that's seven times four. So that's not gonna be it. Closest one for eight would be either the 32 or the the 24. Closest one for the nine is gonna be times the three. So really the only ones for this are uh, one and 29, which is a special kind of thing. So at number 63, we got one and 63. Two, no, three. Yes, because 60 plus 3, 3 times 20 is 60, and 3 times 1, so that would be 3 and 21. Uh, 4, no, 5, no, 6, no, because that would have to cut the 21 in half. 7, yes. Seven times nine, and then eight, nope. So then really, then once we were close to a square number, then that's all we could do. So this has three factor pairs, this has only one factor pair, and guess what, there's a name for that. So uh, we're gonna talk right now about prime and composite numbers. So a prime number is described right here. A number greater than one that has one and itself as its only factor pair is a prime number. Prime also has to do with like the number one. So it only has one factor pair and it's one times itself. That's the only way you can multiply two whole numbers to get that number. Some prime numbers are two, five, 11, and 23. There are more than those numbers though. A number greater than one that has more than one factor pair, more than one factor pair, is a composite number. And I want you to think about the word like compose, composition. This means built or made. So these are numbers that have like components to them, right? Like how your essay has pieces, it's a composition. How your music that you have written on a musical notation sheet has those notes. A composite number has pieces to it, right? It has more than one factor pair, like uh, 4, 12, and 25. The number 1 is neither prime nor composite. So, use the counters to model the arrays for all the factor pairs for 24. Um, we don't have counters, but we can draw pictures. Um, so, 2 and 12 is shown below. So, we could do 3 by 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three by eight. Uh, we could do four times six. Two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four by six would get you 24. Also six by four. Also eight by three. Also two by 12. So. There's multiple factor pairs for 24. What does that make it? A prime number or a composite number? It is a composite number because it has, I hate haze, several factor pairs, okay? Now, to determine if a number is a prime or composite number, you just have to think of one other factor pair besides 
uh, besides one times that number. So 99. I could do 33 times 3, right? Which means it has to be composite. 72. That's Isn't that 9 times 8? It is. So that is a what? Composite number. 31. Now, let's see. If I do two times anything, no, it's not even. Three, let's do three times 10 is 30. Three times 11 is 33, so no threes. Uh, four, no, it's not even. Five, it doesn't end with a five or a zero. Six, if it wasn't by three, it's not gonna be by six, right? Seven, uh, three times, or seven times, Four is 28, seven times five is 35. Eight? No, because the closest one is 32, that's eight times four. Nine, closest one is 36, that's nine times four. Yeah, so this is a prime number. The only factor pair for that is one and 31. Okay. Go ahead. Um, and complete the rest of these on your own. For this last one here, um, because uh, any other even number can be multiplied by, and have a factor pair that has two in it, okay? All right, so go see if you have a uh, an assignment. I think for, for this one, we're actually not gonna have an assignment yet, so go ahead and practice in Prodigy or whatever else your other assignments may be, practice your math facts. As you can see, knowing your math facts is extremely helpful, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.